Now, I'm not big on swimming, but I want to jump in that pool. Alright, so as teased in a previous video, we're going to be doing a tour of Moti Yacht Victorious. It's extremely windy today, so that's why if you can hear wind noise, I apologise. Uh, but yeah, but we're going to, we, we tried to get on this boat last year and we couldn't get on. I was very disappointed and we talked about it in the Monaco Yacht Show last year. But uh, this, this was previously owned by Graham Hart, which is the guy who, who built Ulysses and Andromeda. And he had this thing halfway constructed at the same time that he started to uh, do that deal with Clever Marine. This got put on hold, got taken to Turkey eventually and finished in Turkey. Anyway, let's go on board and have a look around. Alright, so we're on the, the aft deck of the boat now and I, I just, I can't, I don't know why, but I gravitate to this massive crane here. Uh, the, the, the aft deck is quite empty right now and you can see that they do all kinds of sports out here. They've got basketball court, all that kind of stuff when uh, it's empty like this. Um, they've got, uh, this boat here is mainly for when they, do go, when they go into the beach and when they're doing water sports, stuff like that. J just the scale of the size of this boat. I, I would film with me in the shot and this this is a massive boat I don't know how long it is but it's uh, th th this is a 14 meter beam so from here all the way over to there that's 14 meters and this boat almost goes right across the beam so it's at least 12 meter boat they usually have a massive 13 meter uh, limo that is s sat on here but it's a way getting uh, work done on apparently at the moment so it's not here right now which i'm disappointed about but whenever you see the uh, the, the pictures uh the production pictures of this boat you will see this tender on the stern they're using this boat at the moment as a temporary replacement because that other boat is not available but that boat sits on here when uh when they're underway this is a, a this hatch here goes down to the beach club which we'll look at later also on the other side of here we've got lots of uh sea -Dews. we've got through well we've got three sea -Dews. these are the this is the gtx model which i'm told is the ultimate model of this sea -Dew. i have no idea about this kind of thing but uh they are rapid i've seen other people using them on other yachts and they they do like uh i think it's like they do like 50 60 miles an hour so they are crazy all right let's go inside all right, so we've just come into the main entrance. This boat is a charter boat. It's a privately owned boat, but it's a charter boat also. And this is, as a charter guest, this is where you would come when you first come on board. So we've got uh, obviously access to some of the cabins down there. We've got a cinema in there. We're gonna have a look at in a minute. And over this way, we've got a children's play area. So that's an unusual feature on a yacht. Um, and we've got a, I'm gravitating to this look. It's a um, Lego 911 that looks like it's had a bit of an accident. All right, so we're gonna go into the cinema. Uh, unfortunately, there's a lot loud music playing, so what I'm gonna do is uh, later, I'm gonna put a voiceover on so I can explain what's going on inside the cinema. But it's a cinema, you know. You know what a cinema is, right? Okay, let's go. Whoa. Look at this. Incredible. Oh, the music stopped. Look at that. So, obviously, massive screen there. I think it's a 75 inch screen. And you've got, uh, yeah, a cinema. The carpet on the floor here is amazing to, to, when you walk on it. It's absolutely incredible. Look, you've got LED lights underneath. Music's going to start again. Oh, that's nice. So, yeah, look at this. Fantastic. Having your own cinema. 
Uh, what dreams are made of, eh? Beautiful LED lights everywhere. And there's the, oh, it's an advert for the boat, look at that. So they have a big uh, library of stuff and this is how you would access. Uh, oh, they've got a Crestron, that's the Crestron icon there. And then uh, you would, this is how you would access the, all of the systems on the boat. So you can just sit here with your feet up, put a movie on the screen and, um, and then call the stewardess to get some nice drinks and then, yeah, life's a beach. That is the cinema. So this is a, oh, there's a man at the end. This is a guest, uh, guest deck. And there's, I think there's four cabins down here, eight double cabins. It's a long corridor. <laughs> it's an 85 meter boat, so. And then we go into one of the guest cabins. Absolutely beautiful. What I love, I love the way they do the wood. And then as you get to the bed, it goes into this really thick shag carpet. So it's just got absolute luxury on it. And then you've got your TV in the wall. Uh, they seem to have done away with the uh, the lift TVs now. They used to, most yachts used to have a TV. They used to have a cover on it and you press a button and the screen would open or the TV would come out of some sort of cabinet. But they seem to have done away with that now. I don't see that anymore. And you've got huge windows here. Uh, I know some people will think I should say porthole, but these are windows uh, above the uh, higher up like this, and they have regular windows rather than portholes. And the, obviously the, the finish of the room is fantastic. All right, so we'll come out of this one and we'll go down this, further down this massive corridor. And then we'll go into another cabin here. And then you've got another beautiful guest cabin. All right, so we come out of there and now this is the VIP. So on every yacht, they'll have a number of guest cabins and then they'll have a VIP cabin. And this is it on this boat. And this is just that little bit extra special. You know, it's got uh, the massive bed. Obviously you can get like 11 people in this bed. And then you've got the controller on the side there. We've got an another area over there, like a living area, giant TV on the wall, so you can watch your movies. And then this living area, which is epic. No TV here though, strangely. Uh, but uh, yeah, and that's probably closet space, I would imagine. Yeah, oh, well, I like the way that opens. There's me. Yeah, and then we go in here. We've got obviously the VIP bathroom. And this is very nice. Look at this. And it's got a bath. The bathroom has a bath. That's on, that is on, uh, I would say, on boats of uh, 65 meters and below, it's unusual to have a bath. Uh, this is an 85 meter, and uh, they have baths, which is very nice. Very, uh, it's just a little bit extra special. And there's your shower. All right, so we've got here, we've got a huge upper deck lounge. This is just another place to hang out. There's a lot of people uh, having meetings and stuff right now, so I'm just gonna blow through this quite quickly. But this is a big area here, and there's another bar there, of course, because, you know, you need bars everywhere. Right, so we get up the stairs here, whoops, and then we go into, this is the master cabin. Obviously this is where the owner would stay. And they always have these grand entrances. It's very, uh, I don't want to say common is the wrong word, but it's very usual for a super yacht to have this, where the bed is facing the edge like that. And then you've got your master cabin here with a massive bed. The only reason why this bed doesn't look so massive is because the room that it's in is also equally massive. But that is a two meter bed, for sure. It might even be bigger. Um, judging by the, the pillows, the way the pillows look tiny on the bed. And then you've got your massive TV here. You've got your deck. This is all 
uh, private de deck. I know you're thinking it's a private yacht, everything should be private, but it's super private for the owner. Only the owner can access this deck. You can only access it through the owner's cabin. There is a deck outside of here uh, where people can walk past, uh, the crew can come through if they need them to clean. But there is a gate just up there that you can see there and they close that gate and nobody can come through. So that means super privacy for the owner. You've got your life rafts there. Um, and other other uh, unusual fact about this boat is that the, the owner's cabin or the master cabin is facing the stern, which is very unusual. They usually face forward. Uh, the problem with that is this deck out here is usually um, too windy to use. Um, so uh, when it's facing stern like this, you can actually get more use out of it. Um, oh, private jacuzzi for the owner. <laughs> and then uh, seating areas, etc., etc. And you're looking down on the deck below, but there's another jacuzzi down there. We haven't been to that deck yet, but we're going to go down there in a second. And there's the deck. So there's a working deck. That's the bridge. This is the bridge deck. That's the bridge wing up there. Uh, that little bit that sticks out. That's where the captain stands when he's docking the ship. And we've got uh, another television there into the into the bulkhead there. So you've got uh, you see so you can sit in your jacuzzi and you can put awnings up here, and then you can watch your movies. All right. So we're going to go into the bathroom here. This is uh, another, uh, obviously the master cabin got his own bath and, uh, and a massive shower that you could sleep in uh, with the rainforest shower head, which is great, my favorite. Um, and uh, marble everywhere, as you can see, incredible. All right, so we're gonna go into a dining area. We've got a pantry here. Uh, we've got another bar here. And then we've got the this is like not just a dining area, but it's mainly uh, obviously you've got this huge dining table and then you've got uh, more another area back here. So you can relax in. And uh, you can see it's got a 180 degree view. And then your little piano, <laughs> a mini grand piano. That's the thing. Baby grand piano, I think they call it. And then you can go out there to uh, the helicopter. There's a touch and go helicopter landing pad. On the, this is the this is the bow section out here, and you can see there's a giant teddy bear out there for some reason. Not quite sure about that one. But then the guests can get off the helicopter, come right down the stairs, and come right into this room here, which is nice. So look at this on the floor here. You can look right down there. That's quite. You, when you step on it, you have to. It's a bit of a leap of faith when you step on the up the stairs. Every step has an LED light underneath. And into the gentleman's club. Okay, look at this. So we've got another bar, plenty of bars. I'm out of breath and I've come up all those stairs. We've got here, look at this, a humidor. Oh, it's locked. And then we've got wine cellar there. Oh, let's try and get a shot through there so you can see. You've got all your wine in there, cigars. You've got a book with supercars, about supercars. And then if that doesn't float your boat, then we've got a selection of whiskies. So ordinarily on a boat like this, you'd have, this would be a sun deck, so it would be all open, or mostly open, and then there would just be some beds and you know, what have you. But here they decided gentlemen's club, much more appropriate. It still has a sun deck, so you can go outside. You've got these massive beds out there. You can sit out, you've got a table, all that stuff. And they've got awnings that they would put up, but it's super windy right now. Uh, and then, yeah, so then, so we've got this massive open space, fireplace. So we've got these massive speakers, which are custom. Don't ask me who make them because they were made as a favor to the owner by somebody who obviously got great skills, but he doesn't make them for anyone else. So can't buy them and you couldn't afford them anyway most likely and then next to that we've got a fireplace now that might sound kind of normal if you've got one in your house but on a yacht 
to have a fireplace. Now, you're probably thinking that's ceramic in there and this is a gas fireplace, but no, not on this boat. This boat has a wood burner, or not a wood burner, it's an actual fireplace that you can burn wood in. And it is type approved. So it has been approved by Lloyd's, which is very unusual. And also they have uh, a room which can store wood for um, as long as you need, a massive room full of wood, which is very unusual on a super yacht. And then over this side here, we've got, we've got a TV. It was everywhere has TVs on yachts, even bathrooms and stuff. And then you've got this area here for lounging and smoking your cigars and playing chess and whatever you want to do. Now, another unusual feature of this boat is the windows here, they open. Now, that, I've never seen that before. Uh, now, the reason behind this is, uh, as the captain told me earlier, is that what they can do is they can, because they're all smoking cigars up here, and all of the furniture has been designed with, with, with the materials that doesn't absorb the smell of the smoke. And then what they do is they can open the doors at the back and then they can open the window and then the wind blows through and uh, basically clears out the room, which is a great idea. But I've never seen open windows like that. On, and that's on the bow, on or, sorry, on the forward end of the ship. So you wouldn't want to open it when you're at sea. There's Apo over there, by the way. All right, so we've got, I love the use of LED along the bottom there as well it just just lifts the room and you've got a bar here oh, i mentioned the bar didn't i so lots of bars around this boat because it's a charter boat you see you've got your chest set there and then uh, we'll go to the next room all right so we're going through here like you said this is a bridge deck and this is the bridge this is a massive bridge i mean it is a big boat it's an 85 meter boat uh, 14 meter draft a 14 meter beam should I say but you've got this huge bridge which is really nice and another unusual feature is the height of the deckhead in the bridge it is massive so that is quite interesting uh, we've got obviously we've got all the gear here we've got your echo sounders here uh, Ectus uh, with a, a radar overlay or the other way around over um, radar with Ectus overlay you've got your radars here which are turned off of course uh, so that's your panel for alarms, fire alarms, and engine alarms, and stuff like that. You've got your CCTV, and then you've got another radar here. They've got two radars on board, uh, S-band, X-band, which is pretty standard. And also, again, all the equipment on the bridge has got buttons. There's none of this glass, uh, flat glass thing nonsense that you see in some of the, uh, some of the uh, companies building. This is what's called an integrated bridge, so it's all, all integrated. You can switch things through the different screens uh, so you can switch them around so you can have them however you want you can see they all say Kelvin Hughes on them and that's the company that built the integrated bridge and you've got your uh, GPS units there and uh, all the other kind of stuff over here wind speeds and stuff like that and that's the bridge and then this is a this is a you've got your MR sat C over there and, uh, and uh, those white keyboards and then a computer for the probably for the deck officer and chief officer and stuff like that. Just wanted to show the height of the deck head in here. I'm 190 centimeters or six foot three, and I can just about reach. That's the compass up there, the magnetic compass to access it, and I can just about reach it. Luckily, the captain is taller than me, so he can reach you uh, well as well. But anybody who's a little bit shorter, they're going to need a step ladder to get up there. But that is a very high deckhead uh, in the bridge and apparently the whole uh, deck is this is like this okay so we've got more cabins here this is like a so this is a, this is this, this cabin here there's a cabin across the way as well and they are guest quality in, in the finishings and stuff like that but they're not for guests they're actually for staff so when the owner comes on board generally and I don't know this owner at all but generally when an owner comes on board he brings people with him like security people you know, masseuses, uh, instructors, like fitness instructors, uh, extras, you know, maybe a doctor or, or whatever, you know, whatever they bring in on, if the wife's pregnant, they bring on a doctor, things like that. And these cabins are specifically for those reasons, so they can come and put them in these cabins. So they're not as part of, because this boat is a, a large yacht code um, approved yacht, and therefore it can carry 12 guests, but it has extra cabins for those staff as they call them so you've got the crew and you've got the staff and that's what these are for they've got another one of those there there's some more on this deck as well 
and then we go down this way there's another one here and another one here and then we go down and then we're coming into the beach club uh, just here we've got the ECR hard-working engineers in there and then we come down these corridors I think the camera makes it look bigger than it is but they are massive <laughs> and then we come in here I hope I don't get copyright strike because of this music look at this so this is this is the beach club but it's also uh, a hairdressing salon there's a nail salon they have crew that are qualified in that so they've got they've got two massage therapists they've got um, someone who does hair someone who does nails and these are all part of the crew so they're stewardesses plus uh, nail and hair and uh, massage so uh, obviously we've got a small gym here it is small but it's everything you need right a treadmill bike multi gym free weights down there uh, and then you, imagine working out here while you've got this look at this so the shell this is a, sh op a shell door that opens you can see the locking pins there so that's when the when the when that closes up those pop through into the thing making it impossible for this door to open in theory and you've got more over there and then you've got another shell door there that can open the same way and then through here you've got a seating area and then another bar like i said there's lots of bars on this boat because uh, it is a charter boat as well so and then down here this is crazy isn't it look at this so down here we've got a uh, hammam which is with an amazing look at the look at the deck head look at that that's fantastic there's the massage spa and then through here you've got piece de resistance the pool <laughs> look at that now this pool is not just any old pool of course it's a um, I don't know what it's called someone will tell me in the comments but it's a it's a wave pool I think it's called so you can if you are uh, an Olympic swimmer and you want to you're tired of swimming in the ocean you can turn this on and it makes the waves so you can swim in it's like a, a treadmill for swimmers so the waves will come along with that and you can just swim against the current uh, very popular with the kids uh, to, sw to come and play in here as well and then here you've got um, uh, a a um, You've got a door i can't think of the name of the door now but you've got this door that opens out uh and then uh and then you've got an open section the captain tells me that when you open this door it completely transforms this room because of the amount of light that it lets in but this is an incredible room all right so that was a great tour of moti up victorious Tell, let me know what you think in the comments i thought the, i didn't really have many preconceptions of what i was going to see on board but one of the things that struck me is the size of this boat i mean it's an 85 meter boat it's got a 14 meter beam uh, that's big for a boat of this size and it made it feel huge inside there was lots of space those corridors were massive and there was yeah there just seemed to be an awful lot of space and that um pool that we looked at in the last bit that's right inside of here so if we open that door down that pool is right there so you can just imagine being you know some island somewhere and then you just open this out you've got the sun you've got the pool inside and you can just sit out here on the deck chairs quite uh, amazing so i was really impressed by this boat and uh, yeah it, it is for sale it was originally for sale for i think 125 million dollars and now it's been dropped by 15 million dollars so you can get it for a bargain of 110 million so anyway let me know what you think in the comments uh, be sure to like this video uh, and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit the bell for future notifications or plenty more videos like this coming soon all right guys thanks very much for watching bye bye